We are all aware of the fact that minimalism is a great way to save money and live a simpler and a bit more organized life. But it can be hard to know where to start when you're just getting started with minimalism. That's why we're here to share some of the top tips for starting your minimalist journey today. Minimalism is a lifestyle choice that can help you save money and simplify your life. If you're looking to make some changes in order to reach financial freedom in your life, while others are busy wasting their money on idle pursuits, then minimalism may be the perfect fit for you. Here are 10 top tips for achieving minimalism and saving money. One, start by decluttering your home. Anything you maintain that doesn't improve your life is clutter. Making space in your home for the things that really matter is the whole point of decluttering. It's actually possible to better take care of yourself by cleaning up the mess in your house and reducing clutter. Clutter can drain people's energy or cause them to waste a lot of time hunting for things they can't find. In extreme circumstances, persons who consume more than just things may experience obesity or sadness. If mold and dust are present, other health issues could arise in hoarding conditions that are more severe. Even while it happens considerably less frequently, a cluttered home could pose a fire risk. Many people find stress relief in organizing and decluttering because it gives them a sense of control and accomplishment. You have a few choices for getting rid of things in your get rid of box. Donate or free cycle items. So that they can find a new home, this will give you peace of mind. Several regional charities will accept your gently used clothing, shoes, and household items. Be careful to review the charity's policies on acceptable items before donating. You might also try advertising the items on Facebook or a freecycle.org group so locals can pick them up. Recycle. If your community offers curbside pickup, recyclable glass, plastics, and paper, can be thrown right into your recycling bin. You could host a garage sale. If you're up for the challenge, you might be able to sell some of your junk for profit. To find out if your community has a set day for garage sales, ask your neighbors or the homeowners association. Number two, create an inventory list. Make a list of all the items currently in each room so that if something goes missing, you can easily find out what happened without having too much trouble tracking down its whereabouts later on. In this way, you're applying the minimalist approach to keeping track of all your belongings. This method can save you a lot of money because when you keep track of all your belongings, there are fewer chances that you will lose anything and ultimately you're going to save the cost of replacing those specific products with new ones. This method has proven to be really efficient especially in homes and hostels, if you're living with your roommates. Number three, stick with quality over quantity. When shopping for new items, focus on buying higher quality pieces instead of a lot of cheap ones. They might cost more upfront, but will last longer, which means less money spent overall, replacing them every few months or years. We may spend less time and money and encourage sustainability by making superior investments. Even though the initial cost may be higher, Purchasing quality things will ultimately save you money. This is due to the fact that the most obvious advantage of high quality goods is that they will last longer. They need to be replaced less frequently. They enjoy a higher return on investment as a result. Nevertheless, high quality items typically don't cost a lot more. Be cautious though, that buying pricey premium labels doesn't guarantee getting high quality goods. There are of course exceptions, but you frequently pay for the brand name. This is definitely going to benefit you in the long run and save you tons of money, which others spend lots of when they are replacing low quality things after short intervals of time. Number four, take advantage of secondhand stores and online marketplaces. Buying anything brand new is oftentimes the preferred choice when it comes to shopping for things like garments, toys, furnishings, and more. It can be irresistible to just want to run out to a big retail shop and get your hands on all those things. Yet, at what price? In addition to costing you extra money, purchasing new products has a significant negative effect on the environment. We outline the advantages of buying used here if you're new to the practice and aren't sure if it's suitable for you. In many cases, buying used items can save you up to 50% compared to buying brand new ones. Shopping at secondhand stores or online platforms like eBay is one of the best ways to save money while still finding top quality products. And that too, since many times these items have only been lightly used before being resold at significantly lower prices than their original retail value would suggest. Number five, learn how to repair things yourself. Have a cracked clock or broken bowl or torn sock? Time to patch, mend and darn so don't be so eager to throw things away. Repairing broken items has been less popular in recent years, a trend that was once connected to the make do and mend mentality of wartime. 
When you can just throw something away and buy a new one, why bother spending time fixing it? But this underappreciated method is gaining popularity once again as environmental and waste issues become more widely known. In order to provide consumers with greater ability to fix gadgets, the European Parliament is taking action against planned obsolescence, which is the purposeful shortening of a product's useful life by producers. Learning basic DIY skills, such as sewing repairs onto clothing or fixing small appliances around the house, is not only economical, but also very rewarding once accomplished successfully. Plus, this skill set may come in handy during unexpected situations as well. And fixing things may be so beneficial to us during this current lockdown when retail has all but stopped and a lot of new products are hard to find. The notion that new is always superior is rejected by repairing. You can reduce the need to buy new items and save money by extending the lives of the things you value. Even hiring pros is usually less expensive than having to replace something. Number 6. Reuse and recycle whenever possible. The average American discards 7.5 pounds of trash per day, according to Stanford. But most of this trash is dumped in landfills, where it is compressed and buried. The demand on the resources and environment will increase as landfills expand. Recycling increases the amount of waste that is diverted from the landfills. We can reduce manufacturing and energy costs as well as the damaging effects that the extraction and processing of virgin materials have on the environment by recycling items like paper, metal, glass, plastics, and other materials. It all boils down to you and the work you're putting forth. Even though recycling a few items might not seem like a huge deal, it all begins with just one individual taking action. Your recycling rubbish can be transformed into brand new goods. Some of the most common things that you can recycle in your home includes paper towels, steel cans, plastics, soft drink containers, laundry detergent bottles, and aluminum. Instead of throwing away everything after one use, try using old containers, bottles, jars, etc. to store food and liquids. Also, look into recycling options available near you which helps reduce waste from landfills. Number 7. Buy multiple purpose products. Investing in multiple purpose pieces like furniture bedding sheets, kitchenware, etc. saves time, energy, and most importantly, money. Particularly when it comes to your beauty regime, multi-purpose products are terrific methods to reduce waste and consumption of plastics. According to the WWF, Britain created 4.9 million tons of plastic garbage in 2014. Only 1.2 million tons of plastic packaging which made up two-thirds of the total, were actually recycled. Even though that study is from 2014, according to the WWF, little progress has been made with the UK still only recycling perhaps a third of its waste. Your beauty routine, along with other such products, can become much more eco-friendly by using one product for multiple purposes. As a result of buying fewer things, you will also buy less packaging. Additionally, You'll spend much less money because you won't need to buy three different items to accomplish the same task, just one. Who wants all those empty bottles clogging up your vanity or hiding in the back of drawers? Number 8. Cook Meals Ahead of Time Meal prepping has become increasingly popular lately due to the amount of money saved when done right. You could even freeze cooked meals so they last longer, saving trips back and forth to the grocery store. Meal planning guarantees that you always have a quick meal waiting for you on your lunch break or when you get home, saving you time from having to decide what to prepare or whether to order takeout. Healthy eating frequently has a bad rap for being prohibitively pricey. However, you can save money by meal planning since you can buy products in bulk, save extra food in the freezer, and the most important thing is that you can save all the money that you were spending on eating out. Number 9. Limit Impulse Purchases Anytime you make an unplanned purchase, it's considered an impulse buy. It's an impulse buy if you haven't budgeted for it beforehand. It can be something minor, like picking up a candy bar at the register that wasn't on your shopping list, or something major, like going to a vehicle dealership just to browse and leaving with a brand new SUV. One of the greatest methods to deal with this issue is to plan out what you want to buy and how much you'll spend before you even set foot in a store. Before making any purchases, ask yourself, do I really need this product or not? Is it fulfilling any crucial need in my life or not? A basic rule of thumb is to wait two or three days and after that, if you still feel a strong urge to buy it, you should probably go for it. Number 10. Install and use a thermostat. If you're a homeowner, then you can relate to this problem. 
It is very crucial to save money on energy costs because electricity bills and other energy saving appliances take out a huge chunk of money from your pocketbook each and every month. The cost of heating and cooling can add up quickly. Installing a new thermostat in your home is among the simplest ways to reduce these costs. Some of today's modern and sophisticated thermostats enhance energy savings to the fullest extent thanks to technological improvements. A smart thermostat enables you to design a heating and cooling plan that fits your lifestyle, much like a programmable thermostat does. The use of algorithms in a smart thermostat which accurately learns your preferences for heating and cooling before making necessary modifications to the HVAC system, elevates energy savings to a whole new level. 